what's going on guys um i am currently out checking the sheep um it's a lovely frosty morning as you can see really hard frost last night i am currently checking the sheep um and filling their hay racks up if i can get this bit of string undone that'll be nice and nanny hold on i have to swap hands i'm not left-handed Doesn't help that I've got gloves on, then it does. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm I'm checking the sheep. No, filling the hay racks up. As you can see, it is currently empty. I've got the quad bike, which is a lot easier. Part of the small bales about it. I've got a little trailer that goes behind it, which I didn't bring because I didn't think this hay rack was empty it wasn't yesterday but it was here's the sheep here's reginald uh or reg the blue texel ram um and then there's another ram in here there uh that is ron ronnie and reg like the craze um this is my mate's flock we share him we uh both bought him so we've got half and half on him um and then i've got uh four ewes out here that one there and then three texels um, and then the rest of them are his his flock that he's going to be lambing uh, middle of February to the end of February next year hopefully if everything goes to plan and they're all in there they should be but you just don't know unless you get them scanned which we, we don't actually get our scanned because um, there's not much point our rams usually have well last year every ewe was in lamb almost apart from two uh, no, that's a lie. They were all in lamb, but their lamb, lambs died or something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, I think their lambs died and they were like really small inside or something like that. If I can remember right. Um, then pretty much all I've got to do is just shake this hay up. As you can see, they want it because the grass has stopped growing now. We're getting a few frosts uh, like this. This is about our third or fourth frost, hard frost like this. Um, so the grass is a completely stopped growing so they're on hay they've been on hay for about a month now um, just to uh, obviously keep them going until they come in for lambing but um, we don't give them too much hay because otherwise you can get a few problems um, uh, to do with lambing and things like that they say hay can make a uh, sheep prolapse more um, which we actually sort we think is true because when we was first year lambing we fed ours quite a bit of hay and we had quite a few problems prolapsing and uh, we didn't we um, didn't feed them so much hay second year and we had only one sheep prolapse whereas the first year we must have had about six so it's um, one of them you just got to trial and error really um, and just see what works best to be honest they're all rearing to get in here they're waiting that side, but they can't get nothing because the panel's down. Oh, yeah, I'm doing that. Sorry, guys, you can't see a lot, but I'm trying my best. Right, let's put this back over. The treads. I'm not going to bother tying it down because that's pretty heavy enough. It ain't going to go nowhere. Um, hope you guys have been enjoying the past videos I've done. Um, I've been trying to upload as much as I can. We're getting the internet sorted out today the damn filming this is the 19th of december so hopefully that goes all swell um got a helicopter flying somewhere low yeah, there's a police helicopter over that way so i don't know what they're up to but um yeah here's his flock has got two brown ewes in here uh well they're tags but they did have lambs so uh when they weren't meant to yeah it's a nice flock really um, and then my flock, farm flocks, down there, which I will show you in a minute. So I'll go down that way and then I'll show you them. Right, guys. So I'm making my way down to the. Um, go down again. Making my way down to uh, our flock. They run two fields. They run this field, which is an uh, eight-acre. It's like it's nearly nine acres this one, and then the one they got out here is actually. Um, uh, it's. 9.2 acres or something like that um, but yeah if you notice this bridge has actually collapsed 
it's got a big old dent in it. Um, I was hedge cutting, I was doing all the hedge cutting through with my tractor. Come across here, all fine. Done this side bit here. It was all going perfectly. And then I come out into this field. This was, a, and I did one pass my first cut, which I always do up the top side of the hedge, all the way down here. And then I, this was getting later on in the day and I thought I haven't had nothing to eat all day. So I'm gonna go back, have something to eat, come back, finish that hedge. Little did I know, as I was coming back out, I was going across this bridge and the cl bridge collapsed underneath me. Luckily, it was only my back wheel, which was here, my back right wheel, which was here. And uh, I managed to get out okay, because uh, this bit didn't collapse. But yeah, so we got a, in a week or so, we're fitting a new bridge in here. Proper big pipe and concreted and that, a uh, hard cord. And um, yeah, here's, you can hear that helicopter still over in the distance. They must be chasing someone. Um, here's the farm flock, um, some of them, some of them are in with the other flock that was in the previous clip and in some of them are in with the flock over in what we call Barnfield which I put a round bale out in. Um, yeah, come on in, come on! They usually do come coming up, usually the first one's my dad's Chevrolet, you, which is there. Um, our ram actually is lame at the minute, we've got to get him in, he's there. Um, but they are actually doing really well. We got two rams, Sturdy and Brewster, so called. Um, Sturdy is here, this back one here. He is actually Brutus's son. Um, we kept him because he was such a big lamb, he's turned into a really nice ram. His mum was a Chevrolet Tech, uh, not Chevrolet Tech, what am I about? A Texel mule, and the dad is obviously a Chevrolet. So you get a very nice um, looking shape, as you can see, he's got a real nice shape on him. Um, when we get the ewes in for lambing, he will be going in a separate pen with all the other rams. And they'll be fed up and then put back out in the field, uh, let themselves recoup and everything else. Um, we've got 18 tegs out here that my mum bought. They are New Zealand Romney Cross Chevrolets, and then some of them are New Zealand Cross Texels, because um, New Zealand's... Uh, uh, New Zealand Romneys are in the thing at the minute, apparently. Um, that's what my mum's got in the other field. She's got, um, I believe it's 10 uh, New Zealand Romneys uh, ewes. They're really nice. Apparently, they're chucking. They chuck really nice. They're pretty much Romneys, but um, something to do with New Zealand, apparently. Um, but yeah, these all look fine. I'm just going to have to go around the outside the field um, just to make sure none are on their back because I did have, uh, have one the other day they got stuck on its back, um, but I, luckily I come out here, we check our sheep twice a day, once in the morning, um, I'm usually around the fields in the tractor, so they, you know, I know I'll, know, I'll spot one if something's gone wrong, um, and then we check them in the evening, just before it gets dark, or when it is dark sometimes, um, just to make sure they, they're all right and everything else, because um, the last thing we want is to have a sheep stuck on its back and it die like that, it's not really the nicest way to go out. Um, it's not, they like get stuck on their back if you don't know. Um, then the guts drop to their back and then it just slowly kills them. So if you're ever walking your dog amongst a flock of sheep and you see a sheep stuck on its back, always turn it over. Um, but don't let your dog get near them because there's quite a few dog attacks going on lately, um, unfortunately. Quite a few of them have happened. But yeah, um, there's a tractor just gone flying up the road. Um, I can see in the distance. He's probably coming down mine because we've got uh, something going on. But yeah, I'm going to go around this field and then um, I think that's going to be the end of the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.